It's quick. Good. Start up in around a minute. What's up, Matthew? Long time no talk, Matt. Yeah, man. <laughs> Foot off me. Hey, Rob. Hey, Coach. You want to know how ugly some people can get? Uh, I know what ugly is. I see myself in the mirror every day, man. Look at that. A little ugly right there. Look at you. Look at you going bald. Oh, All right, we're going to talk in one minute. No timeouts. I got so many videos, clips. Oh, man. Good stuff, though. It is good stuff. All the line coaches aren't going to want to hear it, though. Do you want the stick? <laughs> no, get out. All right, here we go. Come on, get out of here. Get out. Yeah. All right, let's get going. Uh, I got a lot of stuff to do here, a lot of clips. I don't have an end point. So I'm going to just stop when the thing tells me to stop. Uh, I'm Rob Davis, Barnicut High School head football coach. For the 18 years, I took over the program, Barnicut, from scratch. I also was the offensive coordinator all those years. And within all those years, uh, we developed a philosophy of offense. And um, we kind of just added to it each year. And uh, it's been very successful for us. We've been, in the past game, we've averaged just a little bit over 1,600 a year passing. We've thrown as high as 2,800 uh, in a season. Um, we like to do a lot of um, RPOs. We do a lot of five-step drop. We change the launch point of the quarterback when we throw the football, and uh, that's that. But we still run the ball till we are actually 50-50 football team offensively in terms of our 14 years of varsity football. I'm very proud of that with, um, with that. So with that be, being all done and said, I want to talk about today's talk, which is about our five-step pass drop, and it's only one scheme. I'm going to show only, show only one scheme. It's our choice concept of what we have. Now, in our choice concept, uh, I'm going to go over our pass protection. 90-80 is a term for the lineman. 90, odd number to the left, even number to the right. So that is the, going to be the, side, the sl uh, slide side. We have a man and slide side. So we're going to create an opening where we're going to read a linebacker or where the line ba running back fits in the blocking. So the first gap on the back side is where we go a three or four man slide. So if you see right here, these guys are doing a three-man slide, and they're protecting the three. These guys are big on big, pass prone, these guys. And that's the linebacker that we usually block. Our running back in our routes goes inside, out, gets in our route. And that's what we always tell him. He has a little bit of saying, in and out, get in the route. But for this concept, we are going to hot read him, and we're going to free release. Now, we have running backs that love this concept because they don't like to block. So we get right into it. And, um, you know, there's no, no anchors in our, on, on our uh, offensive skill guys. They love all getting a football. And at this point, five guys can get the football in our scheme. Okay, so our block, and we're going to slide protect if we go 90, if we go, and then they're big on big if we go 80, the other side slides. All right, let's get into our uh, quarterback chain of th uh, thought process. We want quick game built in with five-step route where he's reading just for two receivers. So in other words, we kind of split the field like this and say, you receivers are playing in this section here, and this receiver here is playing over here. The middle is going to be for the tight end running back. So our pre-snap read for our quarterback is outside receivers are running fades, and the inside receiver who's not running the choice is running it and out. Great cover three beater. All right, and that's that. Now, if you man up on us and you're blitzing, we don't have to audible. We already have man beaters with our 
fades going in. So we kind of don't like to do that audible type stuff there. So and our, we tell the quarterback, if you can get those athletes the ball in, in space, get them the football. All right? I don't like to say if there's three here, there's two here. Common sense rule. If they got two guys like this and this guy's kind of out here, that's not good. We don't like it. All right? Over here, this fade guy can run a hitch, but he better get the football because there's a running back running in that area. So we are going to show hitches on this once in a while as a gift, but if not, he's got to go fade. He's got to run a fade. So for the most part, we're clearing, and these guys are going out fade, and that's that. Now post-snap read for the quarterback. It's going to be the tight end to the running back. It's that simple. That's our choice concept. So what he's doing now is the protection is good from the left side. On the right side, that inside linebacker is not blocked. So we're going to count for him with the eyes of the tight end. He's going to run his route, inside release, and look at that mic. If he blitzes, he's getting in the void and showing his numbers right away. We're hot in it. We know. Okay. So if he doesn't blitz, the tight end is pushing over top of him, and he's going to push, and he's got two hits. It's his choice. He can run anywhere into the middle field against cover two, like splitting the safeties, or he could bend it outside like a stick route at around eight to ten yards. We elongate the route. All right? The running back, he is the eyes of the quarterback because the quarterback's taking a peek right here. So, in other words, if we're going to throw a football like an out, he just takes a peek right here because if this guy blitzes, he's got to get rid of the football right away. So, we just – He's got to account for him with his eyes. Now, if he's reading tight end to the running back, the running back's swinging, and he's reading anybody to the outside if they're blitzing. If somebody blitzes off the edge, we all we do is yell, hot, 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 hot. That's all we do. Quarterback turns, throws the football to the uh, area that's screaming out hot, and we got a little swing with that with the running back. You'll see in our clips that our quarterback be looking upfield, and all of a sudden he twitches and throws a swing. That's because our running back's the eyes of the quarterback when we swing. You can't do everything, um, so we want to account for stuff to make sure that we are maximizing on pushing the ball vertical in our pass game, all right? So our tight end is going to push vertical, and he's either going to hit to the middle of the field or he's going to run a deep out with that. It depends. If the free safety there, you're going to see him split the safeties. Free safeties in the middle of the field, he's most likely going to bend it out. And that's how simple it is. Now, to show multiplicity, what we do, we will go empty. And we'll have, can you guys see that? No, you can't. All right. When we go empty, we put the running back all the way to the outside. And we just call it spar. So the running back can motion there or go there stationary. And everything else is the same. So when we go 90 choice, Outside guys fade. He's an outside guy. He's fade. We don't respect that running back, the receivers. The inside guy runs an out. He's the choice. He's running now a hitch because he's already wide. He's in that area that he would normally run a swing. So since he's there, he just runs a hitch, which is a gift. And that's that. So his read now, the quarterback, if he reads the, the tight end, could be here to the hitch. It's that simple. This guy here is blowing the top off if teams like to go too high, and sometimes you get those safeties jumping, and this guy's wide open. We play around with it. We also can corner it, too, at the goal line and run a smash. So let's go over our plays. The way I broke up our plays and our choice, instead of just giving you all the big hit plays all in the front, I kind of split it up. Some to the choice, some to the swing, some to the slot, on the fades. I kind of varied up, so you're going to see – different cut-ups as we go on. I don't have an endpoint. I have 70-plus clips here, and I'm going to end it when it tells me to end it right here. So this is our five-step drop. One scheme only we do, and we do a bunch of things. We've been doing this from day one for 14 years. This is our choice concept. We had to do this when I came to Barnegat, and I was at Lacey Township. We had 20 personnel, and we were smacking people in the mouth and blowing people off the ball. When I came to Barnegat, I knew we couldn't do that with success. So we had to develop something that we were good at, and we were going to be good in space, and we were going to be able to read and, and throw the ball vertical and hot read and do all that stuff and, and be a finesse, finesse looking from the outside, but we're going to sucker punch you with our power run game with that. So we're not going to go under center. 
kick back and throw and hand the ball off. We're going to run that those stuff, but we're going to be finesse minded. We want to throw first in our offense. All right, so let's go over these things, and I'm going to talk it up as we go and also move it. So every concept we do is going to be an out, a fade, a fade, and then the choice with the swing every time, every time. So right now we're going to hit the choice. Our quarterback is comfortable, so he knows that he's got the swing on the same side as the tight end. The safety is playing over top here, playing to the field. So he's falling in love with the tight end. And if it's cloudy, and we tell him on the third step, if you don't like the tight end, you better throw it to the, to the running back. We don't want him sitting, holding the ball, and just chucking it 55 yards in the air. Sometimes we get that. All right. All right. Tight end's open. He's finding the grass. Makes a play for a touchdown. We're putting our kids in areas. And that's all we're doing, space. Be athletes, and we teach our quarterback where to go. Now we're going empty. We're in spar. That's the tailback. He's running a hitch. Everybody else, this is a fade. He's running an out. This guy's a fade. That's your three-step built in right there. And he goes to free safety here. We're, going, we're doing a no huddle. He's going to this over here. So they're going to put three guys over to two here. Nobody in the middle of the field. He knows he's going to the tight end right away. And we just went right in the ball, right to empty, and ran it. They were not prepared. And that's what we do. Now, this tight end here is a Division I kid. They weren't prepared. We just went right in. And I believe when you go empty with a tight end set, people forget about the tight end. People, people just block with the tight end. We don't. We release our tight ends. Get into space, that's it. That's it. Caught him off guard, went right to our no huddle, get on the football, run the play. And again, one buzzword, one buzzword. All right, now, pre-snap read, he likes this matchup right here. This is Rumson High School. This team won a state championship this year that, that we were doing it. I think it was 2010. We had to beat them by throwing for 434 yards on these guys. This is, you're going to see a lot of these plays here. We ran choice a lot against these guys. Okay, everybody's running the choice. I mean, the, the concept. Swing, he's doing his thing. These guys are fade out, but he likes the one-on-one -on -one with this guy right here. It's built in. We have a quick game built in what we do. Catches, throws it to the boundary. We had to be aggressive against Rumson. They were really good. They won the state championship. But we won 42-34. to 35-28. All right, get the ball. Get it to him. Fade. And all the scheme is, it's called 90, 90 choice. 90 choice. Now we're in pistol. Now we're in pistol. So we're going to swing him to the bottom. The inside receiver here now is going to run the choice. He's going to run the choice. I don't like running the choice out of a detached guy too much. Just because this guy can cloudy it up a lot. But because he cloudy it up, we had to swing. So uh, backside guys are going to run hitches. We do tag different routes. All right? The guy, he went inside to kind of play with that inside linebacker, and he tried to jam him, just open up the swing. Open up the swing. The bottom guy's running a fade. There we go. We have a clock in our head. We tell the quarterback, one, two, three, you better get rid of it. You better get rid of it. We're not blocking him. Right? One, two, three, it's cloudy. Pass it. Throw the ball. And I think the quarter, uh, the running back yelled out, hot, hot, hot. If he thinks he's open, he's going to hot. He's going to yell it out. He's going to yell it out. We just want to get spots in space, all right? Here's against Rumson again. He likes the matchup right here. The tight end gets away from the safety. Spreads the needle over there. Good play. <laughs> Everybody else is still running their role. Still running a role. You got three-step game to the outside. Both guys running fades to the outside. Now we're going to hot it. He's giving a call saying, in our terms, hot, hot, hot. I'm open because there's nobody over top. So we're running the choice up top. Instead of him running it out, he's fighting the void. So he catches and throws it. Makes a really big play. 
Both guys are on the same path, same page. <clears throat> Just hot to. Get him the football. I want my kids not overwhelming with memorization of plays. We have concepts. They know what to do. Now go fast. If they don't go fast on our field, it's their fault. I'm not taking the blame. We go, the kids know what to do. We ad lib with different talks. I can verbal something out with a tag at any time, and the kids need the kids are be able to do it. I don't have them processing memory, memorizing all these different little things. Everything we have is storyline of what we do. All right, now we're going to who be hitting this one? Tight end. He hits the tight end here because he likes the he likes this field right here. He likes this field out here. So. This is why he wanted, he actually told him too, your cut better be outside in our terminology. Sometimes you gotta like your matchups. And that's it. Little street ball, little street ball. All right, now we're swinging it, uh, running wide choice. It's cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. We don't want the quarterback to take one step and throw the swing. <clears throat> he will only throw the swing and he's gotta take his three steps. We want those linebackers to declare. They, are they bailing? Are they getting with? Are they blitzing? What are they doing? And we, that will create timing for the route of the swing. One, two, three. He blitzes, throws it. There's nobody there. All right, he's reading the tight end. He wants the tight end, wants it cloudy, cloudy. Throw it, that's it. We're just getting our athletes the ball and getting them to second level. That's all we're trying to do. You're not seeing a lot of 50-yard plays. I, I don't have that type of clips here. Now, here's the corner. <coughs> Teams are saying, oh, yeah, that's the running back out here. We're not going to respect them. So they cut him in here. The try this kid here was first team all state. 6'4", 210, went to New Hampshire. So here's the tight end. This kid here went to Purdue. So now we're running our empty thing. He's running the choice. He's running the fate. Does a crappy job running the clear out. He should be blowing the top off. He doesn't do that. He kind of gets jammed up, and these guys run it out fade right here. And we hit the tight end over the middle. Again, the tight end, the quarterback sees an open crease. The middle of the field, we stretch him out horizontally, makes a nice play. Makes a nice play. That's it. On the ball. It's real simple, 90 choice. All right, now we're going to run the wide choice and we're going to hit the inside slot on an out. This kid right here is the all time leading receiver in Ocean County. Has 137 catches and just under 2,300 yards receiving. And he had three different quarterbacks every, every year he had. That's the great kid right here. He went to William Patterson. The best school out there, guys. The best school out there. <laughs> just an out. Is running it out. He's running it out. He likes it. In his head, pre-snap, this quarterback goes, I'm going to hit him. Catches and throws the out. Quick game. Catches, throw the out. There you go. Everybody else is running choice up top. Everybody thinks they're getting the football. That's it. We very rarely pass pro for the quick game in terms of uh, quick blocking, stepping, stepping inside and all that. We have – plays built in with our quick game already in. I, I got a little smarter as I got older. Here's a nice play against Rumson uh, at their place the, the next year right here, all right? Um, splitting the safeties. He's sitting there. Nice. It's a nice throw. All right? Love playing, uh, doing our choice against well-coached football programs. They're doing what they're told. Nice. That's a good pitch and catch. Anytime you can get your athlete down the field and get him the football and catch it with three steps where he catches it after the ball, after the ball, after he catches it, that's a good play. And that's it. We're spacing the whole field out. If you look at this, you got the outs, you got the fades, you got the fade here, and you got the swing. It's beautiful. And all the quarterback right now says, I'm reading the tight end, and I know you're going to swing. I know you're there. But he falls in love with the tight end. That's, his, that's the only read in this five-step concept. He's taking three steps, one big, two small. He's waiting for that tight end. If he doesn't like what he sees, abort it and throw the swing. 
One, two, three. Nope. Get a good feel to throw the football. Nice. And this quarterback, quarterback, one year for us. Really good. Now he fumbles the football and still throws, still throws the fake. That kid was the first team all state kid. Smart. All right. Now, now we're gonna run our choice to the where are we going? Uh up top. So we're running choice with the inside slot guy right now. And we're swinging here, and these guys are running hitches on the bottom. Now, when we go choice, we always have the, the choice, the swing, and the out fade. So I don't always say run the out fade, it's built in. When I tag something, that means I want you to run choice. Now I want a different route here, and that's that. So it's always this unless I tag it. Because I don't want these kids sitting waiting and saying, uh, you guys, we're running the same god darn play. It's always choice. It's built in the routes. So that's what we do. But when we tag it with hitches, I just yell at hiker, hiker. Sits nice. The play looks really pretty when your quarterback can sit nice and big in the pocket and wait for that break. There's a free safety in the middle of the field. He breaks it outside. Look at that. Clears it. That's what you want. That's what you want. I've been very fortunate that I've had four Division I tight ends. And I do a lot of their film has a lot of this concept. This in our pop series with our RPOs. Getting your athletes the ball in space. They're a lot more sexier looking when they do that. Get them the ball. Again, your pass protection is very important. Now we're in empty. All right. We're playing Raritan, a good Raritan team. Here's Bennett Jackson. Um, played for the Giants. All right. He's going to hit the fade. The corner's pressed up. He likes it. We got all the other concepts in there. We get him the football. He throws a nice pitch and catch. Get him the football. That's it. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. Nice. Every receiver is a receiver for us. We don't have any decoys. Well, yes, we do. <laughs> Sits back. Nice. Again, that tight end has two hits. He goes, in the, in the, he goes into the grass in the middle of the field, or he's going to run a deep stick, 8 to 10 yards, maybe 12, whatever, but he's getting in that void to the outside. He doesn't like the middle of the field, gets outside. We see a cover two, we're gonna we're gonna split that safety. Good. Now we're in empty here. We're in empty. The, uh, the running backs to the right, right here. He's right out here, and he's running a hitch at the bottom. He, they're playing just two on two over top, and he just knew he was throwing it. All right. Now, another scheme that we do that I don't have on our film, if I want his eyes in the middle of the field and run his choice, I can have him run a corner and have him come in underneath uh, an under, like a drive route, to really, to really affect the box even more. So you get that really deep triangle of three people now with that. So we have tagged that, all right? I just don't have those clips. Uh, on here, but we, we could play around with it. So then we would abort the three-step game to the left. Good. Love it. We don't throw to the running back enough. We don't throw to the running back enough. But if you watch our, every one of these clips, the running back is open. The running back is open. So we need to throw the ball more to the running back and trust that. Because there's nothing wrong with it, like a 15-yard play. Nothing wrong with it. All right. All right, now we're going to run the choice to the tight end. All right. We're running it to the field, but he's cutting it back to the boundary. So they're overplaying the field. Splits the uh, – splits them. You turn off the – turn down the – All right. Why choice again? We're going to hit now the, the, uh, the out, all right? He likes – just get him the football. Just get him the football. Again, 
This is the this is just one concept that we do. Choice. Choice. That's it. It has answers for it. We do run it a lot. We run it a lot. You can marry it up, you can motion, you can shift. Our running back start pistol, slide a rifle. We can have them in rifle and go in motion before the snap. You can do all that stuff. All right. It doesn't you can be very creative in the stuff that you want to do. Now we're hitting them right over the middle. I'm telling you right now, we're successful in a pass game because we throw the ball in the box. We don't throw outside plays. We don't just run rollouts. We want to make you pay with your linebackers. And that's what we want to do. If you blitz, we replace you. That's our philosophy. If you're blitzing me inside, I'm not throwing outside fades because you're going to blitz me every down. We want to replace where your guy was supposed to be. So if you're vacating him with a blitz or you're bailing him out with the swing, we're going to hit that area that that defensive coordinator is making that guy go. So we're going to replace him, and that's what we want to do. So we want to get you nice and tight and then get back to the outside. All right, throwing the ball up top. He likes the one-on-one. -on -one. We practice this all the time. So Pat and goes, makes a nice catch. All right, uh, what play is this? Yep, yeah, throwing it right, right back. Go, go swing. All right, why does he throw the swing? All right, this is, and here's what we do. If there's nobody outside, nobody outside right here, that quarterback knows that if this guy right here does anything and blinks and goes here, leaves this four here, because we're running a fade here, the swing is wide open. So that's what we teach our quarterback. If there's nobody outside that tight end, if this linebacker doesn't show anything to get to the outside, you better hit this one. You better hit him. He blitzes and goes. He knew that. Quarterback saw him blitzing and knew that there is nobody outside because we're running a fade. We're running a fade, and this safety here is going with that tight end. He blitzes, throw the hop. Throw the hot. He doesn't have to throw the hot to the tight end. He could throw the hot to the tight end, but he knew the outside was wide open, right? And it doesn't mean that if the guy blitzes that the tight end's automatically open, too, because they do react to defense. So he knew he blitzes, throw the swing. That's it. This quarterback, for me, threw just under 6,700 yards for three years, 55 touchdowns. Uh, had numerous games of over 300, had a couple 400. He was a smart kid, knew where to go, and threw the football to our kids. That's it. Tight end breaks to the outside. And why? Free safety's in the middle of the field. It's cloudy. He's going to push. Nah, running out. That's it. That's it. Now, if he goes out, if you're, your question to me goes, well, what happens if he goes out he's not open? Yeah, if this guy bails back, you're swinging. Then he's, if it's cloudy, he throws it. So we tell the quarterback, if you're dropping, and listen, that receiver is thinking that he's getting open on whatever route, on whatever cut he does. It doesn't mean he has to get the football. If it's cloudy and you don't like it, throw the swing. Let him catch the ball and move the chains. All right? So – you know, every receiver thinks they're open 24-7 like Wawa, but that's not happening. You can make a, a cut, and there might be somebody else there that the quarterback doesn't like catching you out. Again, same schemes we're doing, guys. Out, fade, three-step up top. Get it to him. Get it to him. He's just doing a rhythmic drop. I'd rather him just take one big step and throw. All right, cool. All right, now we're running the choice to the inside slot receiver. There's no tight end. This year, we didn't use a tight end. He's going to push inside and find the grass and find the softness while we're swinging to the bottom. Everybody else is running. They're out. Clears it. Looks for the ball. Linebacker left the area. And again, we're going – this is our no huddle. This is our two-minute drill. So they're overplaying the perimeter, and we love to hit the middle of the field. We love to hit it. Find a hole. Find a hole. Find a hole. That's it. We will attack the middle of the field more than most teams will. All right? Now, we're in spar. 
All right, this is our normal spread personnel formation. Our running back's wide. What's his rule? He runs a hitch. We saw in this state playoff game that we can go a high low with the tight end. He'll run his choice wherever it is. He'll clear out. We wanted him to go hitch and then come underneath and play around with the linebackers. And here we go. Got 10 minutes, man. No timeouts. All right, watch. So he reads the tight end, comes the under. That's it. We clear out. So we tagged it. We tagged it at the line. All right. Good. Running the choice up top. Remember, when we're running the choice up top, we're running some type of quick game to the bottom. So we're running hitches at the bottom right now. So we're running hitches at the bottom. And that's that. We protect our choice with three-step drop routes to the backside. And then to the side that we're running it has to run a fade. He has to run a fade because we're swinging. He can't think of himself and just run a hitch. He's got to clear and get open because we're demanding that area right here. All right? Cool. All right, wide choice to the, to, the, to the field, swing in the back, open it up, thread the needle. Good. Again, we do a couple tags here and there because they were a little conscious to the outside. He bent it inside. And that's it. Hey, oh. Don't ever show that play. Again, buzzword. We hand signal or we can verbal it. All this is choice. We're going choice. So each year we have a standard choice guy. So if it's going to be the tight end all the time, we will go 90 or 80 choice in our verbiage. And I won't say Y choice. I won't say X because it's always him. If I want to do it to the X, then I just go X choice, and that's it. So it's always this unless I tag it. And tag it means I'm just telling somebody else to run a different route. Swing it, swing it. That's it. I hope I'm not boring you because this is a scheme right here is something that we really take a lot of pride <laughs> in. Swinging them. That's it. That's it. All we're doing is this, creating space. Falls in love with the tight end. I love running this with a tight end. People don't utilize the tight end enough. They just don't. They don't. Just don't. All right, now we threw, we ran over top. We were thought, we, what we thought was, they were jumping this kid. This kid went to Boston College. This was 2007. When he went here, we thought the safety was going to jump him, so we posted over top as a protective. And he just saw a good matchup, and he threw a post to a, a big receiver. Run it up. Throw it up there. Good. Brick Township. You're going to see a nice little stick route. Push his vertical. Go out. Go out. Go out. Go out. Go out. Go out. Threads the needle. That's it. That's it. Choice. Choice. All right. Now, we're the running backs here. He runs a hitch. He runs a choice. This is this is Rumson, the state championship team. Fate and a fate. He's the inside guy that runs a fate. Okay. But at the goal line, we run a corner. So he's going to push vertical and run a corner to create a smash. So we're going to clear out and do that and create one on one with the inside guy. So he reads the tight end and peripherally sees this guy and throws a nice corner out for him. That's it. Again, so out of this, all this is called is 90 choice. You know, 90 choice. We call it choo-choo. So we go 90 choo-choo. All right? 90 choo-choo. What does that mean? Choice. Why do I go choo-choo? Because I'm reminding them. I got to do that for our kids. I got to remind you, choo-choo. All right? That's what I do. Choo-choo. 
Nice. So when we're on, when we're, when we're calling this out loud, they laugh at me because I'm going choo choo, you know, like I'm tooting a horn like a train. And the scheme's the scheme. No matter what we're doing, it's empty. He's throwing now this guy. I don't tell him who to throw it to. He's taught his reads. Nice little throw. That's it. One on one. One on one. So all we're doing, draw them in and do it. That's threading the needle a little bit. Getting a little dangerous. I'm going to run this through for probably two and a half more minutes and we'll finish it up. Good. He just throws the fade. Outside guys run fades. Catch it, throw it. He's got it. We don't audible to it. It's built in. And we back shoulder it, guys. We back shoulder fade a lot. We don't like to overthrow it. We want to back shoulder it. If we don't think uh, we can get the ball by him, we back shoulder. Again, we're in empty. Running backs right here, same play, right? He runs a hitch, and if he doesn't get the football, what we tell him is to slow play it, get inside, and the out inside receiver right here is running a corner with the choice here. What is it called? 90 choo choo. 90 choo choo. That's it. So our quarterback could just get on the ball, choo choo, tells the lineman. You know, we can go Lake River, whatever we do, 90. Everybody knows on choo-choo what they're running unless we tag it. So I don't have to say which side's running it. Tight end is the choo-choo guy. That's it. Throw him the football. Wide open. Red Bank. All right. That's it. That's what you want it to look like. Basically running a stick concept. I love when people say, you do run stick. Yes, I run it when we do this. But how come he's not doing that? Well, because it's not open. We don't just say run stick for the stake. We run stick if it's there. We run stick concept if it's there. And this is all it is, a stick. We don't run three-step stick. But that's what basically it is. Okay, I guess we do run it. All right. Runs the fade. That's it. Good. Good. He finds the softness, puts the brakes down. Look, that's it. That's, to me, our choice, that's the perfect choice. It may not go 20 yards, but we are going to, that's a, that's a hook and a swing. So there, that's your, your, um, your hook swing concept with that. When it when it outside uh, inside receiver does it from a non tight end position, good swing, good. Got to throw the ball to the swing. We put receivers there. Um, if we if we're not getting a good horizontal stretch with our swing, I'll put a, a fast kid in there, a JV type kid, and say run the swing, and then maybe have another play for him so it keeps people honest. Um, so the running back's got to swing. Get out there. That's it. That's what I want. That's the choice, what I want. Frustrate the defense. This is a hot call. He's hot. And we're running choice, so we're going 80 choo-choo. 80 choo -choo. We're sliding to the right. The tight end's going to the left. We're swinging the back to the left. This is third down, third and 10. Just hots it. Gets in the football. The only thing I'm going to say is you hot it, you better throw him the goddamn ball because the other guy's going to zone. We play rumps and we beat them the year before at our place and they won a state championship. The first game, the next year, they were the number one team in the shore. We're beating them by 11 with four and a half minutes remaining and we lost. We, we, we turned the ball over twice and here was the last one. We needed one maybe, well, we needed two first downs. This would have been a first down and maybe one more to win the game at rumps. And we're running choice. He catches it, gets the first down. Gets the first down, what does he do? Fumbles. 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 No such thing as a, um, what do you call those wins? No. That's first down. This is second and 10. He fumbles it. They score, they beat us. He fumbled it in the goal line, and then that play right there, we could have ran the clock out, possibly. Or something right. 
still bothers me. All right, less than a minute. Cool. All right, let me end this right here. Cool. All right. Guys, again, reminders. Okay. All right, our choice is...